Oh, leaving so soon? Well, our party keeps going, so if it gets lonely out there in the wee small hours, remember Nighthawks? You always have a friend here at the hideaway. There must be something I missed. Welcome, Nighthawk. We've been expecting you. I'm in the TV! I'm so relieved I'm not crazy! It was just a magic TV, that's all! Yes, please! Charlie, play some of those notes you know I like. What the hell is that floating light? Tuttle! Stan? I remember you. Of course, you remember me. I'm, I'm like your all-time favorite person. Oh, it's the rerunning. We just keep rerunning. I remember less each time. I'm forgetting my life, Sam. Tuttle, relax. You don't like it here? Let's just go. We can't. We're trapped here forever. Ooh, does forever include this weekend? Because the BET Awards are on. BET Awards? I remember those. Those are from the future. I need to get back to the future. <gasps> Back to the Future! I love that movie! And Michael J. Fox, he was so great! Then, oh, that thing happened to him. Oh, then the towers. Then that pretty good Dennis Leary fireman show. I need to get back to my time! It's not lighting up! It's not lighting up! Oh, uh, boy. He'll pay for that at commercial time. What happens at commercial? And we're clear to commercial. No, please don't! Don't eat me! Yeah, oh. No! No! Oh, boy. <laughs> Sounds bad. We're on in three. Oh, God. He's gone. It's a good thing I'm clearly irreplaceable and integral to this show. Charlie, now how about something a little harder? Here's a rowdy little number called Volcano Blast Freakout. Ha, ha, ha. Did you hear that guy say, don't eat me? That makes me think Alistair ate him. He doesn't like it when people mess up his show. Are you having a nice time, Stan? Hey, you know my name. That's cool. Hey, what is this place? This is a party, baby. Parties are fun, so when the camera's on, you will make nice conversation. You will keep a drink in hand, and you will listen to and love every bit of jazz you hear. But I like Swamp Rock. No. What if we want to leave? Leave? Why? You're with other Nighthawks, solo creatures who enjoy mature pleasures. Face it, Stan. You're a sensualist. I know. But I have a family. Do you now? Yeah, I do. It's just hard to remember their names. I told you. I told you. Francine, Haley, Steve, Klaus, Roger. Good, good. Come on, Tuttle. We can't forget. I can't remember my family. You don't have one. Oh. Don't worry. I still have my family. We gotta get out of here. But how? You saw that guy? We can't call the elevator. <laughs> I think we got away. It's all fake. Let's try the soup. That's how you can tell if it's a real diner. We're still on the show. Stan, look! The tree! Follow the color. This is the way home. Finally, Falls, here we come. Then maybe there was something appealing about that bachelor vibe. Because boy, the family was driving me nuts. You wouldn't know what that's like, but trust me. I pretend my fingers are my family. Mama Thumb always nagging. Uncle Index with the corny jokes. What can I say? They're a handful. I got Francine. I got Steve. Uh, I got Harley. I got Clark. I want to say Bruce. Take it, Tunnel. I got no one. Take it, Stan. 
Well, see you around the neighborhood, Tuttle, old boy. Yeah, I should get going, too. Oh, yeah, you have nobody. Turn off the car, you idiot. You're coming inside, you big, fat idiot. <gasps> you mean it? Yeah, you live with me now. I'll convert the shed into a room for you. I won't insulate it. Stan, I have a house. It's nothing. You'll sleep on some old car batteries. I won't hear another word. Now, come watch me hug my family. Beloved ones, I'm home! Welcome back, Nighthawks. We've been expecting you. Oh, no! I'm gonna forget them forever! Have you heard the new hi-fis with the quadraphonic sound? They're really the best for listening to jazz. It sounds like skeetle de deep do bop de bop scoop dop sligar flargy marga smeeboo. A man can't be himself in the kitchen. It's not his domain. But what about when he gets hungry and she's not there? Well, the space age wet bar of tomorrow can satisfy his hunger. Arumaki Maker Matic, folks. Just plug it in, load the hopper with chicken liver, and within minutes, nuclear hot hors d'oeuvres plop out all over this green tree that looks like a cabbage. Ooh. Now picture it. It's 11.15. You're at the Sands. Frank Sinatra's overflow girls are starting to get hungry. They say they want melted cheese and lots of it. Time for fondue. Fondue? With an electric fondue set, it's fast, it's easy and clean, and lets you eat more cheese more quickly than ever before. Fondue! Fondue! Electric fondue! Bingo bango hot cheese on tap! My wife! My wife fondue! No, fondine! Francine! I remember Francine, and oh, how she loved her fondue! Tuttle, wake up! <coughs> Francine! Haley! Steve! Klaus! Roger! I'm not a Nighthawk! I want my family! We're gonna take a commercial break, and when we return, I promise the party will be back on track. Stan, are you okay? You're wearing the wall like a hat! Oh. I came in through the static. This is the way out! And we're clear to commercial. Look what I did! Where the hell have you been? I almost went down there. Family! Oh, sweet family! I want you to know that I haven't forgotten you. Even if I came close, I'm here now. And I want to do what you want to do. I want to raise this child. Daddy's here. I'm not doing that anymore. Thank God. <laughs> Poor bastard. Feels good to have things back to normal. Stan. What up? Have you heard the new hi-fis with quadraphonic sound? They're the best hi-fis for jazz. Yes. No, 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 no! That's right. American Dad is now a show that exists on TV in the basement of the family of American Dad. Another great episode so long. Night. Damn it. 
Ever since Langley Falls approved medical marijuana, this whole town has gone straight to hell. Uh-oh, looks like Stan is hot. Damn right I'm hot. Crime is up. The economy is down. Look at this. They're even reporting about how stoned this Dow Jones character is instead of actual news. Potheads are so stupid, Stan. So stupid. Oh, he's on his feet. Why did the pothead cross the road? He doesn't remember. Well, I'll tell you one thing. It wasn't to get to his job like the hard-working chicken. Kick it. <laughs> What's the difference between a pothead and a working man? The working man works, man. The pothead puts pots in his head, Judge Dredd. Kick it. <laughs> Mr. S, yes, this is hilarious. Why the hell are you laughing? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought this was a funny time. I is this a sad time? Ugh. I'm making fun of you, Jeff. You're a pothead. We can't laugh at ourselves. Who can we laugh at? Other people, Jeff. I'm sorry. I'm a little high. Hey, Dennis. I'll take a pack of Tommy Toke's blunt wraps and however much shake this gets me. Hey, Jeff. What's got you down? It's my father-in-law. He thinks I'm a loser because I smoke weed. Well, that must mean he thinks Steve Jobs, Bill Gates, and Kirsten Dunst are losers, too. They're all well-known marijuana users. Really? Uh, I wish I knew that this morning. He loves Kirsten Dunst. He thinks he saw her in Prague once when he was backpacking through Europe, but he's got no proof and the story changes every time he tells it. Dennis, turn on the TV. They're talking about weed on the news. Tommy Tokes, the elusive marijuana ear, has hidden four golden rolling papers inside packs of his blunt wraps. Winners and a guest will get a tour of his mysterious weed factory. So put down that fiery Doritos Loco Taco and get your stoned ass to the dispensary. Give me all the packs you've got. I also would like all your packs. Tommy Tokes factory. No one ever goes in and no one ever comes out until now. This is our objective. A cannabis goodie of epic proportions. The everlasting edible. Tommy Tokes has been developing it, and this thing gets you messed up from the dress-up. From sun-up to sunset. For life! For life? We've got to destroy that thing. Exactly, Smith. But I'll be the one to destroy it. I've got a whole evening planned. I bought MLB 19, and I'm going to play a season as the Rangers. But I'm going to give all the players girls' names. Your job is to find me one of these blunt wraps. It's the only way to get inside. This is your only priority. Hey, Stan, I've been meaning to tell you. You can see the outline of your penis through your sweatpants. I see you in the gym every morning, and it's distracting. You did the right thing coming to me with this. And what's more, you picked the right time. Do you think it's something with the pants or the penis? I'm leaning penis, Stan. Please be gold. Please be gold. Dang it, brown. Ah, so close! You can't do that on television. It's my favorite television show of all time. Okay, gotta go, Mom. Next time we'll talk about what your favorite show is. In a shocking show of motivation, Langley's potheads are lined up around the block, hoping to score a golden blunt wrap. But their chances grow slimmer as the first one has been found. What is your name, and where did you find your golden blunt wrap? My name is Pube Face, and um, it's actually a really crazy story. My your name is Pube Face. this mid-morning screening of Showgirls the Director's Cut to inform you the second blunt wrap has been found. Larry, how excited were you when you found the second gold wrap? Oh, man, it was like the first time I heard Steely Dan, man. You ever listen to them? I'm a weatherman, Larry. I only listen to the sweet, sweet beeping of my Doppler 5000. Oh, and Black Cat by Janet Jackson. For sex. Faster! I'd help, but there's no stairs! The third winner is this lady! What's up? My name is Angie. 
I smoke weed before every meal. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, brunch, fourth meal, second lunch, third breakfast. Well, this lady's gross. Thanks, Memphis. She was gross. With three gone, that means there's just one gold blunt wrap left. Babe. Jeff? <gasps> Jeff? Hey, Bong Brain, you have the last gold blunt wrap. Oh my god, I won! I'm going to Tommy Dunk's factory! <laughs> and you get to take a friend. Jeff, you have to take me. I can't tell you why, but it's very important. But Mr. S, you hate weed. That would be like taking Garfield to a Monday's factory. Plus, I should take Haley. Actually, it sounds like a lot of walking. Maybe you could just describe it to me when you get back? You make a strong argument. If I wasn't thinking about you before, I definitely am now. Mr. S, rebuttal? I'm prepared to let you sleep with my wife. Jeff, you'd be crazy not to take that deal. Okay, I've decided. I'm taking Haley. I don't want to go. I'm not going. In that case, it looks like Mr. S is going to the weed factory. Yes. Now let's celebrate. Hey! Oh, hell no! Now you done it! Yeah! Glad you're here, Mr. S. I think this is really gonna open your mind to marijuana. Who knows? You could be the next Bill Gates, Stakes Jobs, or Kirstel Durstel. That's him. I'm mother Tommy Tokes. That's just my homie that holds my box. Where my winners at? Let's roll. Welcome to the official tizzle of my Merry Fact Tizzle. Interesting fact before we begin. Nobody knows when the factory was built or anything about it, really. Fascinating. Mr. Tokes, will we be seeing edibles on the tour? Possibly of the everlasting variety? Hell yeah, there's gonna be edibles. Big chin. This is a soda lock. I just have to enter the combination. Coke, Sprite, Dr. Pepper, do, do, diet do, weird ass lemonade, tricky little water button, Coke, Pepsi. Everything in this room is edible. Wow, it's actually beautiful. Try some, Mr. S. Oh, uh, is that chocolate? My doctor said I'm only to eat bananas foster. Ow, my tooth! Fool, that area is clearly an office. Whoa, he's gonna eat it like a pelican. <laughs> oh, God, my sweet fume face. Help him. Chill, baby. Your boy's dead. Not even the Great Patch Adams can save him now. Say, Mr. Tokes, who are those purple fellas? Those are a native tribe from the Andes called the Snoopalumpas. Obviously, I can only catch the little ones because they don't run that fast. Now I got something that'll blow your mind. This machine scans your brain and determines the perfect strain of weed for your personality. Who wants to try? Me, 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 me. I love weed, I love weed, I love weed, I love weed. Please. Man, I hate this lady. Why'd I make this contest random? You. I noticed you didn't eat anything in my edible meadow. I, I, I shouldn't. I don't really smoke the stuff. Don't smoke any stuff. Except fools who step to me. But that's just an expression. If you don't, I'm gonna thank you a narc. What mission? Of course not. Give me that. That's the swirly thing. Love that marble. There's my mouth. Blue dots. That's my logo. Your personalized strain. C high A. Whatever that means. Tokes up! Whoa, you're doing it, Mr. S. That went down pretty easy. My turn! Wait! The helmet needs to recharge or else... 